I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you, Matty Dean, and I need you, Matty Dean. Why did you leave me here without your love? Oh, bro, I'm hurting. Well, I'm bad each night I lie, and I think of you and cry. And I tell you all of all, bring back my love. Those aren't going up, dude. Listen, uh, how old are you? Like 20s? 25. 25. I'm 48. Yeah. We're living the same life, man. Yeah. That's, oh, dude, I'm, I'm a 75-year-old in a 25-year-old's body, dude. I'm <clears> going <throat> to be the... I'm looking forward to losing it all in really? a home. Like, you not be, all the money, but like just sitting in a home, saying anything you want. Oh, yeah. Dude, you would be the funniest old guy. <laughs> like... Dude, I love guys like you and like uh, James Dorsey and stuff because you're like, you guys look like you work for like a hedge fund, but you're like super <laughs> immature. Thank you. Thank you. So like when yeah. I see you guys, I'm like, I want to be like that guy when I'm older because like everyone falls apart at some point. Oh, it's definitely. I've been waiting on that. I'm yeah. hoping. Hopeful. Like 30s, people are like, I'm mature now, but dude, you guys are just like, nope. You play it off well, though. Well, you know? like, listen, w why? Why? Like, why grow up? Yeah, like, uh, fucking, I, I mean, everyone's like, everyone's hiding it. You know what I mean? But yeah, like, yeah. You I, guys just, you know, do a really fucking good job. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending we're yeah. adults. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I enjoy the shit out of it. I, yeah, like, but I dude, don't... you would be hilarious as an old person. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm when not. Do you, when do you think, like, you're going to start to lose it, like, 70s? Ah, uh, like, it's weird because I do all, I hate everyone. I don't generally like people. I don't like society. Yeah. But I eat super clean. I like I try to stay healthy and all of my friends are like for the one person that hates everybody, you're going to live longer than everybody. Yeah. And you're going to have to put up with everybody for the entire time. I'm like So I'm fucked. I'm probably yeah. my family usually lives to their 90s. Wow. But they usually like lose it around 82, 85. Yeah. It's confusing. It's like dude, if if you want to die around your 60s and just go out with a bang, <clears throat> it kind of makes sense. Like, after, like, 70, it's like, what do you... Yeah, I don't, like, You don't I really don't, have, like, a set schedule. Like, I was, yeah. It's fucking, and anything after 60, like, tripping could take you down for two years. Yeah. So, who like, what's the use? That sounds yeah. horrible, but... It does sound horrible. <laughs> yeah. You know, people are like, I don't know, maybe life. You know, maybe you should enjoy, like, being alive. <laughs> But like, but like all the things I love to do are like mountain biking, like stuff that like I, I <laughs> ride with a lot of guys. We went out and rode and a couple of the guys we were riding with were like, just they're there to exercise. Let's get our heart rates up and have a great day, everybody. And I'm like, I think I can ride over that rock. Yeah. And just up over it. Absolutely. Crash, it. smash. Yeah. Like I'm not a good. Yeah. I'm a very good crasher. I've always been very good at wiping out. Can you anticipate it or are you just I know I'm I know I'm approaching shit that I shouldn't be. Yeah. So I'm always ready to like object myself. Okay. Like you'll get people that they become one with the bike. Mm -hmm. Like, oh me on the bike, we've achieved oneness, I know what it's doing. And I'm like, fuck this bike. If I go to crash, I just leave and run into the woods. Wow. And I've broken frames, I've broken wheels, but a knock on chair, haven't screwed myself up too bad. Because I don't stay on the bike, I yeah. just eject. Dude, have you ever seen Borat? I have seen Borat. Like, which... I wanted to get into mountain biking uh, a few years ago, <laughs> and I looked like him at the car dealership when I walked <laughs> in the bike shop. I was like, yeah, I'm looking for something like the $200 range. They were like, dude, you can lick my fucking balls, right? bro. They right. were like, yeah, like cheapest bike we have here is like two grand. I'm like, dude. Yeah. Two fucking grand. Two thousand dollars. And when you get it, you're like, it's like a Harley. It's like, oh man, this is a nice bike as long as I upgrade everything. Yeah. It's They're like, yeah, man, like two grand and then like every year or so you have to come by, we'll tune it up for you. I'm like, dude. I went to Walmart, dude. And like I know their bikes are shit, but I saw this one bike that was like two hundred bucks and I was like, All right, you know, we'll go with it. And dude, I was in uh I was on a trail behind a middle school. 
and I hit this rock that was like covered in bushes. Like, dude, I went fucking flying huh? into a tree. My <laughs> forehead was bleeding, and I just like called it a day, dude. I but sent, that's dude, but you made a wise investment. Yeah, two hundred dollar bike to go fuck this is yeah. better than I'm I'm buying a two thousand dollar bike and hanging it in my room. Because I will never ride that thing again. Yeah. Well, like back in the day, I used to do the uh, the BMX thing. Yeah. So I had a pretty expensive uh, BMX bike. Did you, you? And I was like 300 pounds, so I couldn't do any tricks. But it was just like the the look of the bike, and it was like reliable and stuff. You were a poser. Yeah, yeah. So I knew like, you know, shitty bikes are going to break down. Like, yeah. But Walmart bikes, like, dude, the chain breaks. So you could oh. be going, you could be pedaling as fast as you can. And, <laughs> and the chain just lets go. You just ram your balls on the frame and like you're <laughs> supposed to just be fine with that, dude. Well, back in BMX days, you had the pad. Oh, the pussy pad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the one on the handlebars, the one on the crossbar. Because <laughs> they knew the chain was going to break and you're going to smash your balls. That's... Yeah. My uh, my neighbor's super into uh, like trail riding. Like He has like his own organization or something. And he'll like have kids meet up at the park and they'll go for rides. And he he gave me a bike, but it was like a it was a medium sized frame, so I looked like a fucking giant on this <laughs> thing, dude. And that one broke. Uh, and then there was one time where he uh, he would paint bikes, so he painted my bike for me, dude. Like, it looked sick, like custom paint job, but he didn't tighten the screws on the front. So I was, gonna, <laughs> I, was, I was going down this hill, like the biggest hill in town, full speed, dude. I went up to do a wheelie. <laughs> just and the just fucking like, wheelie. Yep. See you later. Flying, dude. That, well, that's how you learn to yeah. maintain a wheelie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is, my, this is my fault. Yeah. I blamed it on myself. I did this. <laughs> I let him paint my bike. Didn't yeah. check anything. Uh. I mean, that's dope. Thing I'm jealous, dude. Like, you, I mean, how much was your bike? Uh, I have too many. Really? Have you have more than one, dude? Five, five bikes in my condo. Oh, shit. Um, I have a road bike that i've had forever so that's like a cycle uh i have yeah like a like tour de france style bike oh, shit. and then i have a couple of mountain bikes and then wow dude i'm you almost just, you don't 50 around, i collect dude. them wow dude. <laughs> it's, but it, yeah i mean my boy fox dude <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> on bikes man yeah. on bikes <laughs> what uh what's the we'll start with the cycle though dude because i mean that must have been pretty pricey uh, that was I bought that in '04, so that was that was twenty six in '04, twenty six hundred. So like, how many? If you were gonna go for a ride on that, you would go for like a pretty long. Um, yeah, I'll do the most. I'll do is like twenty five. I'm not Holy a big shit. like fifty mile, hundred mile. Dude, twenty five sounds like it. But you're cranking along. You're doing like eighteen, nineteen miles an hour. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just, uh-huh. yeah, those are. Those are fun for a while, but then you're just like, mm, my balls hurt. Yeah. Like, I don't, I never realized I could physically feel my taint. I got to <laughs> get the fuck off this bike. Um, yeah, I've, I've honestly never thought about that until now. Because <clears throat> you see those guys, I mean, I've seen a few nice asses because they wear the <laughs> spandex, dude. Listen, let me, let me get this on the record yeah. before. Uh, I do not. You I'm not a onesie. Okay. I'm not out there in a fucking wrestling bib. Mm. It's uh, wear regular human shorts. I don't need anybody to be like, "Wow, that guy's <laughs> circumcised." I can see from here. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I. Well, I mean, people. Uh, people say the spandex really helps. I mean, if I was out there with my big and tall eyes out, Polo, dude, probably just fucking fly away. Dude. Listen, the people. Uh, my favorite is like, oh, you gotta <clears throat> wear the onesie. It really cuts down on the wind resistance, and it, it'll help your time. Meanwhile, I'll be like, you know, it also helps your time <laughs> pedaling. Pedaling helps you fuck. Yeah. Because they just, they want to, it's like a, uh, my favorite is the motorcycle guys, Mm. that the only ride they do is to go to like a Dunkin' Donuts or a Honeydew to stand around with other motorcycle guys talking about how long they just spent cleaning their motorcycle to come get a coffee. Those are my boys, dude. (laughs) (laughs) You talk shit about those guys? (laughs) No, 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 not really. I love them. just kidding. Dude, that's why I go to Dunkin' Donuts to see to see guys. the motorcycles, the <laughs> yeah, car show, dude. the bike show. Yeah, yep. just to hear their conversations, dude. Did you did you put that chrome on yourself? I did, I did. Yeah. Um, I I I'm I torment everybody. Hmm. Like my stepfather, I have a motorcycle. My buddy has a motorcycle. We're going for a ride. Yeah. 
So we show up in jeans and a t-shirt. My stepfather comes walking out. He's got the Harley shirt, Harley vest, Harley jeans, Harley boots. He comes down. He's like, you guys ready? And I'm like, did you buy the fucking catalog when you left that? And he goes back in the house. And my mother comes out. And she's like, what did you say to him? I'm like, what? I just asked him a question. She's like, he's in there changing. I'm like, rightfully so. Motherfucker had everything. If he had Harley underwear on, I wouldn't have been shocked. It was crazy. <clears throat> Dude, so what would you wear if you want? You would wear like that? What, on a like motorcycle? Like flex fit jeans. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like for a, on a no, bike ride? On a bike ride. <laughs> I just wear shorts. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I thought like, you were saying like you wear like rank no, like flex just like, fit like, jeans. And yeah, like, like yeah. skin tight. Yeah. Like, like a Columbia sweatshirt. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I just I stop at the the Coles and I go into the the men's yeah. uh, work section and I uh, no, I only ride in Carhartt, Heck man. Dude, <laughs> imagine seeing me on like a fucking two thousand dollar cycle, like wearing this, dude. I want to see you coming down like a like one of those like true downhill hills, just in that no like one of the guys I ride with, no helmet, really, and we stop for cigarette breaks. Yeah, like that's and. People that ride with us are like, you guys ride crazy trails. Like, mm-hmm. these are like dangerous trails. And he's like, yeah, we going. I'm like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I mean, dude, I have my, uh, I have like my recreational helmet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I get you. I got my at home helmet. Yeah, yeah. I get my, you know, no, the no, girls I, coming over helmet. No way, dude. If I had a motorcycle, which, dude, I would <laughs> never. <laughs> I I waited till I was thirty because I'm like I think I'm adult enough to not kill myself on this thing. Yeah, just the friends I have would be like fucking peel out. Oh my god, yeah. it, that's here's the thing about like bullying. Like the people that bullied me as a kid mm. were the people I still hang out with as an adult. Yeah, like and they still are like like one of the kids we knew ran from the cops in a car. And, like, when we finally, like, he got arrested, all this shit, book, like, he got screwed. When we finally met up with him, one of my buddies goes, man, you're fucked. I'd kill myself. Like, that's my loving friendship with, that. like, my friends. It's like, yeah. like, I mean, you shouldn't, but I would. Yeah. Like, but you'd rather have that than, like, somebody who's like, it's okay, it's going to be Yeah, okay. I don't need a back rub. Yeah, I yeah. want somebody like to be you like, you're your absolutely fucked. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, if mm-hmm. one of us falls... We mostly complain that now we got to fucking walk this asshole out of here. Like, <laughs> fully injured, like, fucking should be getting an ambulance. It's like, dude, fucking 20 minutes in his ride. Now we got to leave? Oh, unbelievable. I got this one day. Yeah. Like, I watched my friend just destroy his finger. Like, really? showed, he's like, oh, I think I fucked up my finger. And he held it up. And the, the finger was beside the finger. Jesus. Like, the joint was completely yeah. screwed. I almost threw up. My buddy, like, started gagging. And he's like, I think I'm going to ride out. And we're like, can you just pull it back in? Can you just put it, like, set it? Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? We'll are tape you, it up. And he's like, <laughs> dickhead. Yeah. Are you at, like, public trails? Like, there's Oh, like yeah. A, there's, yeah. There's hikers there's like, around. Yeah. And, there's, like, yeah. Karens around. They see. Oh, my God, around, yeah. Dude. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, uh, I think uh, when I was on stage the other night, I talked about a guy yelling across a field that I yeah. should have a mask on. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> okay, dude, have have a good day. Yeah. That's, dude, I don't know, man. If uh, for some reason I feel like if Karen saw that, she'd be wet, dude. She, she'd like that. Well, the double like, finger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deep down, dude, that would mean a lot to her. Like, well, the... Because we were doing things that we shouldn't be doing, and then we got hurt from it. Yeah. Like, like she's like, she you deserve by, it. Yeah. 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 But I get deep you. down, she's like, that's fucking hot, dude. You know what I mean? I love it. Yeah. What's the male Karen? I don't know if you would see him at a uh, trail. No, he's railing against children on his front he's lawn. He's probably a stay-at-home father. <laughs> it's like sweeping the kitchen. <laughs> Can't actually do any work on the house, yeah. but he he spends a lot of time cleaning. And like up. when he's done sweeping, he like cleans the broom. Okay, like he goes through each individual like like strength. washes it. Yeah, yeah, like dries it off. Alcohol wipes. Yeah. Make sure it's yeah. And then the, he watches like a, like a morning talk show. Like I can't. I actually can't even sugar. come up with a morning talk show. I was just like, oh, like yeah. no, I don't like. Is, I don't know any dude. Is Good Morning America yeah. still a thing? Yeah, but dude, I I can't get into biking, man. 
<clears throat> just the I would fall all the time and like that's fine but just like the amount of money I would put into it is like <laughs> well that's uh, yeah it'd be like, it'd oh, be like I got anything this. else though it would be like dirt bike riding or like you have to be willing to like put a fucking shit ton of money into it or just ride shit yeah, but then it's just going to break and I'm just going to be like super emotional. But here's the thing about the expensive shit. Yeah. It breaks. <laughs> what about like uh like Trek bikes? Are those like I mean they're I mean it's a known it's a known name, yeah. but you know, it's like anything. You can get mm-hmm. a Trek at Walmart. I don't know if that's true, but you can get like a cheap shit Trek. Yeah. And ride that down a trail and murder yourself, or you can get a five thousand dollar trek and yeah. ride down a trail and murder yourself. So I was just thinking about it like in like a car way. Like I have a Honda Accord which like I've never had to, uh, like, repair. But, like, I used to have, like, a Dodge Ram. And, like, I could be on the highway, dude. Like, the fucking exhaust <laughs> pipe falls off. The engine blows. Yeah. Dodge is this big snap-type model of a car. <laughs> so I didn't know the if, like, Fender like, just flew the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, well. <clears throat> dude, three weeks into having my truck, my fucking exhaust pipe fell off on the highway. And almost started a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Like the front, <laughs> like the just fucking the exhaust pipe literally snapped off, and I just look back and I just see like a, a borderline fire starting. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, back in the day, like when Dodges started, the you know the they released that big eighteen wheeler looking truck, and everybody fell yeah. in love with it, mm-hmm. and then people would put plows on them, and the first time you drop the blade, the airbags would go off. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it was so fantastic. Yeah, we got a little glitch in that. We got to fix that. Uh, <laughs> Might have made a minor mistake there. Yeah, these car companies are just like, yeah, like, you might die, yeah. but bring it in. Like, we'll, <laughs> we'll take a look at they it. They do, like, the recalls. They're like, you can come in if you want, but, like, if well, not. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that's my favorite. Yeah. I've been fixing cars for a long time, and the... Mm. People, this car will be 30 years old, and they're like, I think it's got a recall. I'm like, yeah, it's 29 years old. I don't think it's going to give you an issue today. Yeah. Like, the part that we were supposed to be recalling has been changed seven times <laughs> since the recall was issued. So yeah. you're fine, sir. Like, I feel like a pussy in a Honda Accord, but it's whatever, dude. Why? What car would you drive to not feel pussy like? I'm just saying, dude, you know, like, you need a Camaro? sometimes, dude, if I'm listening to, like, classic rock or something, <laughs> I'll imagine me in, like, a fucking Dodge Charger, just 10 RPMs, dude. You know? <laughs> I can tell by those words that you are not a car guy. <laughs> 10 RPMs. Yeah, how, how many RPMs is, like, really? 10 like? is, like, you cranking it. That's, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's like, man, I'm just out here idling with my starter going. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. Oh, so it would be like it would be like ten, L- like many? idling is usually around a thousand, <laughs> like eight hundred to a thousand RPMs. So the ten is very like on your bike, on your shitbox Walmart bike, you can get ten RPMs going. Uh, <clears throat> I just thought about that. So it's <laughs> is it in thousands? Generally, if it's like <laughs> one, two, three, it's like times ten, so a thousand. Like, yeah. I never, dude, I'm so fucking stupid. I thought that was like <laughs> well, literally like how many RPMs. <laughs> listen, most, it's yeah. Nobody knows what any of that shit means. That's so funny. Ten RPM. I'll be cruising at ten RPMs. I'm like, I don't know if he thinks that's high or low. Dude, I gotta put that on my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> <laughs> I roll about ten RPMs. Uh, but yeah, dude. I mean, you ever think about that? Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Which part? Just shredding it, dude. In like a fucking Ferrari. I would do I that. Would. Yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing. I, I also believe that at any age that I was handed a Ferrari, I'm probably going to die. Because yeah. I don't think I don't think you should be given a car that you don't drive. Like if you can <laughs> afford to buy a full price Ferrari... That thing should be needing tires every three days. Yeah. Like, you should be like, hey, what'd you do today? Well, I bounced it off a fucking guardrail. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, I'm just saying, like, huge difference. If Dude, if I was in my Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to a Ferrari? <laughs> I was in my Honda outside of, like, a Red Lobster. <laughs> 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 okay. So. And I just put my foot down on the gas. Like, in park. <laughs> you'd, you'd hear, <laughs> all the way down. Like, that wouldn't be that impressive. But if I was in, like, a fucking Porsche 911 Turbo and did that, 
bitches would be calling, dude. No, dudes would be calling. Yeah. Bitches would be like, look at this dick. <laughs> so, the only, look, whether you rev it or not, I think a woman will look at a Porsche, not all, but like she'd be like, oh, that's an expensive car. I should get to know that person. <laughs> but a guy would be like, dude, rev it. Rev it again. Yeah. And oh, then I got, he'd go I got home one and, of those buddies yeah. who like legit gets hard to like engine yeah. sounds. He's like, dude, is that fucking two stroke or four stroke, bro? <laughs> Papa Wheelie, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just, uh, doesn't watch porn, just watches like the dirt bike channel. Like when they hit the job, <laughs> he just blows one out. <laughs> you see him hit that double. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Maybe I should get one then. Maybe I should just get a bike. Just I don't know how that. we went from a red lobster with a Ferrari to now you're getting. In my what? head, I'm thinking like, should I get a bike or a Ferrari? Like a motorcycle bike? No, like a fucking a pedal bike? bike. Like if you bike. if you're debating on that price <laughs> gap, <laughs> <laughs> like that's. We live in two different Dude, worlds, man. I bought my Honda <laughs> for like as much as I would have spent out of fucking yeah, like, legit. Like, yeah, I was like, "Dude, here's cash, bro. Like, you don't even have to like." But here's the thing: you go spend that same money on the bike, and you're like, "Now you need." They're like, "Do you have a bike rack?" I'm like, "No, I just fucking I sold my car to buy this bike. This is all I have now." Yeah, they'd be like, "You've made some mistakes in your life, yeah. sir." Yeah, probably, dude, but. I think you should do Fuck it. Fuck him, dude. I'll back you up. Yeah. yeah. I, dude, when I went in that bike shop, this guy literally talked to me like he hadn't talked to anyone in like four years. <laughs> yeah. He was like, dude, like, what are you doing this afternoon? I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Do you like, want to ride together? Yeah. Like, do you want to get a coffee, dude? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, until the pandemic, bikes weren't big. Like, yeah. Like the pandemic was like, oh, we all have to stay in. Oh, my God. We all need to buy bikes. And he had this one kid in the back who was like <clears throat> maybe 18, and he looked like he was just done, like with life. <laughs> he's shackled to a bike stand in the back. He's just he's just in the back. He's like, dude, what can I do for you, man? I'm like, dude, do you want me to get you out of here? Like, I came in to buy a bike two years ago, and this guy never let me leave. Don't get the coffee with him. Yeah. So that's that's how it goes down, though. You just meet up with the boys. You're like, we're going to shred it today. <laughs> that sounds very... No, not really. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll ride by myself or like, yeah, every I, all of us work <laughs> fucking ridiculous jobs, too. Yeah. So it's like, hey, you around Sunday? No. So, yeah, whenever. I'll ride by myself. It's yeah. I've, I've crashed alone. And like at one point I went down and I was like, I think I just broke my fucking ankle. And I literally jumped up, got on the bike, and started pedaling as fast as I could for the exit, mm -hmm. figuring I'll at least ride as far as I can for adrenaline. Hopefully, I'll make it to a main trail where somebody can find me. <laughs> 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 and that's me making adult decisions. <laughs> like that's you're just like casually like, yo, I think it's broke. My I definitely ankle. like I heard it pop. <laughs> I was like, holy fuck! I think I broke my ankle. <laughs> Grabbed the bike and started riding again. Yeah. Made it to the entrance and was like, well, I don't think it's broken. It was like ballooned twice its size. I was like, I don't think it's broken. And I turned around and went back in the woods, kept riding, and met my buddies to ride yeah. the next day. They're like, is your ankle still fucked up? I was like, oh, I showed them. They're like, oh, my God, dude, that's gross. Yeah. But it's like, well, I could be dead tomorrow. That's so fucking funny, dude. That's sure like that. Dude, that's how I used to be when I was younger. I just had, well, like I still am now. I just have no emotion. Dude, when I was like 14, I had my finger between a van door, and this dude just fucking slammed the door as hard as he could uh. on my finger, dude. I literally didn't like even budge, but like a single <laughs> tear rolled down my eye. <laughs> like that was you screaming <laughs> as loud as possible just to say, <clears throat> dude, just straight face, just single tear rolls down my eye. But that's the thing, like that's the, like that'll get you out of so many messes because somebody yeah. be like, I'm gonna fucking kick your ass, and you just go, all right, <laughs> and then they're like, later, mm. we're gonna meet up, and yeah. I'm gonna do that. But you should go think about your day. Yeah, I've never been in a fight, so that makes sense. I, I know. Yeah, I would probably just say some weed gay. <laughs> someone, someone <laughs> just cry. I'm telling you, just burst into tears, and they're like, why? Well, I don't I know if I can punch like, this person. I imagine some big dude telling me he was going to fight me, and I just yell at the top of my lungs like that I'm going to jerk him off. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, it's definitely going to put a pause. 
on the first throwing of a punch. Like it's gonna be like, Ehh. hold on, what? Yeah. What? what the, like, did what he say fuck, he's gonna dude? kick my ass? Yeah. No, he said he's gonna rub one out of you. <laughs> yeah. The fuck, dude? Uh, is this a hate crime now? <laughs> but dude, if I got away with that, I'd be fucking king of the castle. That's dude. your go-to. Yeah, like starting bar fights and then straight screaming. Faced. <laughs> yeah, you have to be straight faced. So you can't laugh. <laughs> I'll jerk you off, motherfucker. Don't make me jerk you off. Yeah. Straight face, dude. There's, all right. Eye contact is important, too. I'm hoping I'm in the bar when this happens. <laughs> <laughs> Just 15 <deep>. doing <laughs> Doing, like, play-by-play play with my buddies. Like, no, no, watch this kid. Watch this kid. Oh, this is going to get good. Oh, fuck, he's making him do it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That would be fucking intense, dude. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just to see how, like, confused everyone was. It'll be worth it, though. I think it would. I definitely, for me, yeah, it would be. Like, when I play it out in my mind, it's, it looks good. <laughs> in re- all all in signs, real time, yeah, all real signs time. point to happiness. Uh, in real like time, though, I think about it, I'm like, he would probably just knock me out, like, cold. Well, it's one of those, as you start to scream it, he's already swinging. <laughs> <laughs> so as you just fall backwards into unconsciousness, yeah. you're like, jerk you off. Yeah. <laughs> As long as I got like the jerk off part. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you want to finish the statement. What yeah, was yeah. his last words on your tombstone? <laughs> it just says "jerk you off." Yeah, it's like my obituary. Yeah, John's last words. Don't make me. I'm gonna jerk you <laughs> off, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we believe he was already unconscious as he said, "motherfucker." Uh, <clears throat> but dude, I mean, you talk about like your family a lot, like in your in your skits. Is that like what got you into uh, the whole comedy thing? Uh, there was, I always wanted to do it. Like really? when I was a kid, it was just, yeah. um, it's all comes with an asterisk now. Uh, but my mother had like Ann Murray records or mm-hmm. Bill Cosby records. Yeah. So I chose Bill Cosby mm-hmm. and, uh, thought it was great. Didn't know what it was. I was like, oh, that's awesome. You're just sitting there talking and yeah. Yeah. And then I, as I got older, I did a bunch of ridiculous shit and eventually, one of my friends was like, hey, I signed you up for some class because I'm sick of listening to you talk about someday doing comedy. But yeah. It was always one of those things I knew I'd eventually do, just didn't know when because I'm definitely like a introvert. Don't like, like when I was younger, I wouldn't go in a store by myself. Really? So the idea of getting on stage and talking was definitely, <clears throat> oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, dude, I feel, the, I feel that, dude. Like I could talk about like balls and like jerking off. Like with a straight face, not be nervous. <laughs> but like, if I had to give a speech on like, oh, like history, yeah. I'd be like, dude. The funny part is, is if if you were like, hey, Chris, uh, go <laughs> up, just welcome everybody, give them the rules, and then bring up the host. That makes me more uncomfortable than the idea of Chris just go up and talk for forty five minutes. Yeah, like because then I'm like, ha, oh, hey, we're gonna uh, start yeah, sure. the show. Oh yeah, dude, I had to do that when I was. 20 that was the first time i hosted <clears throat> and a guy who was like in his 50s was talking to me before i brought him up and i'm like sweating nervous <laughs> <laughs> and he goes he goes how long have you been doing this man i'm like i've been only i've only been doing it for a year man like i'm pretty new this is my first time hosting like i'm wicked nervous and he was like he's like dude don't give up man never quit and he's like giving me all these like motivational words <laughs> so i go to bring him up dude i'm like hey what's going on everyone uh this next guy fucks <laughs> <laughs> And I just look over, and I see him <laughs> just, just like, shaking his head, like, <laughs> <he's> like what? <laughs> he just gave me like all of his wisdom. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I mean, that's a compliment, right? He like didn't talk to me for the rest of the show. Like, <clears throat> he probably he probably remembers that. Like, he'll probably remember that for the rest of his life. But then, if somebody ever explained, he's like, no. Yeah. He, that was him saying, like, this guy is cool. Yeah. <laughs> old man. <laughs> Listen, old man. He his, said, you fuck. Yeah, his, his family was there. <laughs> this guy fucks. Yeah. Like, in my head, though, like, at that moment in time, I was like, dude, this is going to be a sick intro. Like, I, there was no second guessing it. Well, that's the thing. And he just had a problem with it. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck that guy, dude. I'm going to send him a message on Facebook. Fuck you. You remember me, motherfucker? <laughs> I thought about it, and you don't fuck. <laughs> Take back what I said. I've forgotten people's names, bringing them up. 
Oh, really? Like fucking. Did like, you have a piece of paper to like? No, I'm yourself? like literally looking at the table in front of me that has like the show flyer on it, trying to figure out if I can figure out their name. Yeah. I've <clears throat> done shows with people that I've quote unquote met before. Mm -hmm. But comedy, everybody assumes, everybody knows everybody. So then I find, like, we talk for 20 minutes. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I go on stage, and I'm like, I have no idea what this next oh, guy's yeah. name is. That's hmm. a, dude, that's a, an ultimate fear of mine. I write it down on a piece of paper so that if I forget, I can just be like, oh. I've, yeah. Just tell everyone I'm, like, dyslexic. They would believe me, too. The best out is just, like, this guy needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but what do you say? <laughs> this next comic, uh, I, I, when I did it, I literally said, I go, the next comic coming to the stage, I've known him for a while, I forget his name. Really? And they all laughed, and I heard him laugh in the back, and I go, that's pretty funny, right? Because, no, I'm serious, I don't, I can't remember his fucking name, please, if you want to make your way to the st stage. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Just owned it. Just yeah. like, ah, sorry, buddy. And yeah. then when I brought him up for the outro, I said his name like 37 times. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, buddy, that was, ah, he was so great. I mean, the fact that you could play that off is pretty impressive. Well, it's, 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 laugh, there's no other choice. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I, I would definitely forget people's names, but as long as I, like before I introduce them, I'm like, I say their name fucking 700 yeah. times. And I then, find if I write it in my phone, <clears throat> Yeah. Like just the act of remembering it, writing in my phone. But like, think yeah. about it. When you, <laughs> the host controls the show, right? Yeah. Like you set up the pace. You kind of like set the room up. You kind of feel the room out, see who's doing what. Like if I'm closing a show, I sit. I love sitting in the room and watching what everybody's doing. Who likes what? Who's going on here? Sometimes it doesn't matter. You're just screwed, or you're you yeah. know it's a great room anyways. But. The host generally controls the momentum of the show, and he's generally the person that's like, how long have you been doing this? I've never done this before. Yeah. Okay, well, thank God we put this in your hands. It's like giving a baby the keys to the Ferrari and yeah. being like, hey, we want to go to the mall. Get us there. It's like a sacrifice. Oh, you're For sure. laying on the grenade. Yeah, 100%. That's why they call it taking the bullet. Yeah, as long as they show me fucking respect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the host has an amazing if once you realize that as a host the audience doesn't think you're going to be funny. Like they're just like this guy's the MC. He's just the ah whatever. And if you are funny, like uh, people have come up to me after a show and be like, "Hey, you're funny." I'll be like, "Thank you." No, like we've seen hosts before and they're not funny, but you're funny. I'm like Wow, thanks yeah. for putting years into this craft and wow. shocking you by having two fucking lines. Dude, that's crazy, man, because I've heard people told, like, when I was younger, people used to tell me, it's probably because they fucking hated me, but they were just like, dude, the host, like, it's their show. Um, Depending on the show, though. Yeah. Like, it, if it's a three-person show, so <clears throat> it's, op like, the host, middle, and headliner, like, it depends on, if you have a headliner that's hosting, yes, yeah. it's their show. They control the room. Like, cause they, if you eat it, they can bring the room up. If you crush it, they can mellow the room out to let the next guy have the same yeah. thing. <clears throat> but as, usually if it's a showcase, it's like somebody that's been doing it a year or yeah. the three person show is usually the person that's like, I seen this kid at a Starbucks. He made a funny line. I think we're going to have him host. Yeah. And you're like, oh, <clears throat> fuck. They can like ruin shit. Oh, it's so great. I yeah. love watching. Like I, I love being a part of shit shows. I do enjoy it. Some of my favorite shows are when it's just like shit's gone sideways. You can say whatever you want because there's nothing yeah. like at this point <clears throat> nobody's been murdered. That's about all. That's the bar we're sitting at. What is what is like the worst show you've ever done? Um, so many. Like hands down, the one that sticks with you. My favorite. Story is like, and it wasn't a bad show. I just wasn't ready. Yeah. Um. I was. I had seven minutes. Like, if I put all of my shit together, I had seven minutes. Yeah. And there was a guy like, "Hey, we want you to host." And I was like, "Oh, I can host. I can do that. Do seven minutes. Bring up the the feature. Go up. I don't have to do material. You go. Oh, you're headliner. So I got to this show, and it's two national guys. It was me hosting, and then they were both going up, both doing half hour to 45. That was it. So I had to do five five to seven. 
That's it. And as in that situation, my job is to just not take a shit on the stage. That's the <laughs> only job I have. Just go up there, get them facing the same direction, and get off the stage. That's it. But the guy, one of the guys had to leave. He's doubled up, so he's got another show to go to. So they go, hey, he's going to go before you. Can you follow him? And I was like, I can go after him. But this dude's a 20-year veteran, like has a crushing set. Like I, there's nothing I want to do with this. He went up, destroyed the room. I'm in the back of the room laughing, knowing that I now have to go up and just take a big scoop of dick and eat it. Yeah, there's no big deal. And I went up on stage, and the the last guy, he's in the curtains behind me. The room is silent. Like everybody understands that I'm new. I sound very robotic. I'm like, uh, 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 stumbling, flop sweating. And I can hear the guy behind me. Like I'd do a joke and I'd hear him. The room in front of me, 300 people, dead silent, staring at me. Dude behind me, ha, ha, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Fucking do another joke. Oh, that's a good line. I like that. Like he's enjoying himself, but I can hear him because the room is, there's not one laugh. Like you can <clears throat> hear a chair go, Hurr! Yeah. Somebody like backs up. So this, how many years in were you? I was probably two, three yeah. years in. Like it, I was super new. Yeah. But it was, it's like, I can't say it was a bad show. I enjoyed the shit out of it. It's my yeah. favorite story. Like just eating it so hardcore, but having some headliner that like crushes behind me going, I like that line. <laughs> like it's like that inner voice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've been on stage <clears throat> and had like, you're crushing a room, but you make eye contact with one miserable fuck that has his arms crossed, isn't laughing, and you could be in a room full of a thousand people, but you only see that one dude. Yeah. So and you're I mean, just... it's pretty much every show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's like, it's more like utter confusion, though, which is like what I love. Like, I love, <clears throat> I would rather have like half the room laughing and like the other half just like disturbed, like <laughs> <laughs> confused. <laughs> But I think, like, <clears throat> you can tell that you're okay in it. Like, when you, when I, anytime I've seen you, you look, you don't look uncomfortable. You look really? like you're just making statements. <laughs> like, like, you know, like, it's like, I don't know. It's you're just very, so. Well, dude, I've never, uh, so I met, I met you. <clears throat> we didn't even really meet each other. Like, you were with uh, Maya at the raffle house and I shook your hand and like introduced myself <laughs> and then I just listened to your jokes like through the curtain I was like this is fucking hilarious <laughs> that was I never like thank you I was yeah. never on a show with you but like I remembered you because I have like a good memory and I just you know yeah I no, it was I, hilarious so, yeah. like, I was just, I've, hey, I've seen I've seen <clears throat> you do some spots like but I just I like the I like your delivery I like how like dry you are and like I said you don't even if you are uncomfortable you carry like the way you look is that even not uncomfortable, you're going to appear the same. You're going to deliver yeah. the material. <clears throat> so you could be flop sweating and just be like, dicks and balls. Yeah. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's very... It's so... Like, I, I, I also... I can't do that. Like, I've tried... I thought I would be a storyteller when I started, and then I started doing just jokes about my daughter, and then I've become more of a storyteller. <clears throat> like just talking about my regular life but yeah like i like the one-liner i like the like setup delivery i like that yeah. punch but it doesn't work for me i get <clears throat> really i just got your stories were great man i well, appreciate I mean, your that, first yeah. joke is a one-liner about being gay yeah but that's i mean it really like sets the tone <laughs> but it, it lets people know like i don't this guy's just like because like i think you said like i look like i'm a fucking a banker <laughs> or some shit and i'm like oh no he's fully Dude, immature that is like as a, like, not a comedian, just, like, a, a fucking young, like, open mic comic, like, for me, just seeing an older dude who looks super mature, and, like, <laughs> say stuff like that is, like, so gratifying, dude. I'd like, th I don't know what it is about it, but. <clears throat> I, yeah, I, I don't. I, it's better than the guy who's like, yeah, fucking, just left the house, my wife's a fucking whore, and you're like, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should have made a better choice. Yeah. <laughs> And I, yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I've always I I try to stick with my rate like base it on a real real life type of situation. So the I mean, it's like anything else. The joke might get. I'm not a person that like it's got to be real. 
Oh, yes, yeah. everything like yeah, no, like yeah. I mean, it's it's got to be based on like yeah, kind of like true the events. story comes from somewhere. Like yeah. I, if you uh, the the bit I do about traveling with my parents, that's that's a real story. <laughs> yeah, like that all. 95% of that really happened. Yeah. And then I just took another story of me traveling with edibles mm-hmm. and combined the two, and they just work out. But Yeah, that is wild, man, about comedy, like <clears throat> the the truth aspect of it. Because some people just, like, make up stories, but then there's people who are like, yo, this, like, legitimately happened. Like, I, 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 I'm friends with people who are there. Yeah. Like, the, I have a joke about yelling these big old balls. Oh, I totally my, believe your story. My stories. teacher was like, what do you carry on a day to day basis? <laughs> and I literally yelled that in English, Engli- like in English class. And like people I know to this day were there. So like they know that happened. Yeah. But like the regular Joe is going to be like, there's no way that happened. And I'm just like, all right. Like, well, you don't have to like believe it. I'm just, you know. And maybe that's what I'm getting from like <clears throat> when I did like and do see you. Like, I believe that. Yeah. Like that, when you say that, I don't think there's no part of my body or brain that goes, he's fucking around. I'm like, no, I can, s- yes, he said that. Yes, yeah. he did. Like, it doesn't matter either way, but that's a crazy, like, aspect of comedy. Oh, the fact that, like, brutal honesty or completely made up bullshit yeah. is equal. It's the same. I feel like you, you should be able to tell, though. If someone's making up a story, they're kind of like, dude, fucking. Then Jimmy threw a frag in there at this dude's house, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, it's true. Unless you can yeah. go like, no, I saw that on the news. Yeah. Somebody but, did throw a frag grenade at that girl's house. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like it should be, in a perfect world, it should be like based upon true events. Uh, but like, you can obviously like, you know, well, you punch it, it up. Yeah, you yeah. punch it up, dude. You make I mean, it more interesting. Th- the funny part is, like, I have some, <clears throat> me and all my buddies will hang out, we'll talk stories, and, like, some of the funniest shit that's happened in my life, it's like, yeah, you, I can't ever, that's not a stage thing, it's not funny, mm-hmm. it's just us being dicks. Yeah. You know, sure. it's, but, it, and it's funny that the stuff, like, I used to do a joke about um, whales beaching themselves, and who gives a fuck, fuck them. Like, and I never thought, <clears throat> like, when I started doing the bit and started working on it, I would say to people, like, can I say this? Like, this seems super, super mean. Like, are people yeah. going to be upset by this? Mm-hmm. And the way it works out in the end is, like, I kind of explain, like, I say that up front and people get all uptight. And then I explain how they feel the same way I do. Yeah. And at the end of it, they're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck whales. I get it. <laughs> So it's like to me, it's like I don't understand some of the stuff that I can get away with saying. Like, really, you got wow, okay, yeah. and it's not bad, it's not horrible, but mm-hmm. like, yeah, I've telling people to go fuck themselves on stage, like, yeah, it's hilarious, it's awesome, yeah, it's the it's yeah, it's <clears throat> the best. I don't know, man. I, at the end of the day, I don't know shit about comedy because <clears throat> like everyone's different. Dude, it's, it's I've been doing this a long time and I to me. know nothing about it. Yeah, I literally don't know anything about it. But I feel like I don't know if you feel that way, but like when you're up there, like you kind of just like have to be yourself. I feel like if you're not, then you're probably going to fucking it, eat a dick. Uh, I don't yeah, I think there's got to be like some sense of guilt. I think you have to yeah, you have to show kind of in a way who you really are cuz you won't survive. Yeah. Like you'll just I, I can't, and maybe there are people that do it, but I can't imagine living in a character yeah. that's not 80% me. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely more chatty and zany on stage mm-hmm. than I am in real life, but... I mean, that's probably why, uh, <clears throat> it's probably why, like, most actors go insane. Because they're always <laughs> True. living yeah. a fucking they're all fake pl- life. Yeah. yeah. Playing somebody else. Think you're fucking Spider Man in real life, dude. <laughs> you had like a local coffee shop. Did he kill himself? No, he, his web wasn't working at the time. He just leaped off the building. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I've, I don't know, dude. I, I Even when I was younger, I just told myself, like, when I started, I'm like, dude, if you ever, like, start to not be yourself, like, you should fucking stop. Definitely. Yeah. yeah I mean, sure. and then, yeah. But I think there's big names that, like, started off as themselves and then morphed into a character and that's how they made their name and yeah. that makes them a million some dollars. Some of them look like they're taking a shit all the time, <laughs> but some of them like, <laughs> some of them you're like, oh, that's just like them evolving. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, 
Trust me, I cringe. Anytime I see my old comedy, I cringe at it. I don't yeah, like. I'm like, I, I get what I was trying to do. Mm. I understand that. It's but. all about the attempt, dude. <laughs> Not always. Sometimes <laughs> you want to stick the landing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, that's dude. That's just how I feel, though. I don't know, man. That's how did you get into it? How did you start? I was just 19, dude, and I was just so fucking dumb and like stupid. I was like, this is all I have. I don't really know how I started. But I, I mean, it's it's funny because you're <coughs> like, I think like everyone has like a place in the world. You know what I mean? Like a, a slot they fit into yeah, type like of thing. Sl- and that was just like the only thing I felt like comfortable in. Even when it wasn't working, I was just like, I mean, dude, like you can't like you're supposed I can't to be, be here. myself in a fucking cubicle. Oh, like yeah. the shit I think about, <clears throat> dude, like I was at work, dude. And I'll just have these insane thoughts. And I'm like, dude, if you ever told someone this, like, dude, they would fire you on the spot. But you can go on stage and say exactly. it and get applause for it. Like, dude, the other day, literally Friday, yesterday, I was at work. And you know how, like, I don't know, back in the day, to see, like, which way the wind was blowing? <laughs> like, someone would, like, you know, suck their finger and hold it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. be like... It's blowing east. <laughs> I literally thought about someone asking me which way the wind was blowing, and I just start jerking off. <laughs> to shoot see a where it goes. Into the wind. And I'm just like, it's blowing west. Southwest. Like, I thought about that in my own head at work. And I was just like, dude, if I, like, told my boss that. <laughs> <laughs> say, hey, I just want to let you know. Like, I was thinking about this, like, in my cubicle. You know how you said we don't talk enough? Here's some inside thoughts. <laughs> It's that it was what is the name of this podcast? It should be Inside Thoughts with John. Oh, this is called the Johnny Salami Podcast. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even do an intro. I forgot about that. We're here. This is. I thought we were natural, just warming dude. up. It's all natural, dude. I liked it. It was nice sitting down. I'm like, I don't know if we're taping yet. I got to watch what I say Should about I what. Keep people on the edge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have a woman at work that calls me dude and bra. Yeah, that's dope. And I had to pull her aside one day and be like. Do I say that to you? Like, are you busting my balls because I constantly call you dude? But she's like, no, I've never heard you say that. I'm like, just checking. Yeah. It was so weird. Like, dude, that's sick, though. I mean, I say dude a lot. I so. yeah. I, I some 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 uh, ladies probably get like offended though. But that's me. I didn't know if she was being like passive aggressive, oh, yeah. like that. I say it a lot, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to get yeah 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 kicked. Yeah, dude, they have an upper manager who's a woman. And she called me bruh, and so now I call her dude. <laughs> but I don't know, like, if it's okay. Because, like, yeah. like, I am a guy, so she can call me bruh. But, like... I think, is dude a universal? <clears throat> like, can you say them, they, dude? I mean, honestly, dude, if a girl calls me dude, I'm, like, rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I it's call like everybody... Chill... I call everybody buddy. That fucking pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> fucking hate that dude we got a guy at work who does that to our like his own boss what's up buddy what's up buddy <laughs> have a good weekend buddy i well, literally want to take my computer listen, and fucking throw it at someone dude. and i get that i understand yeah. that but for me it's like hey what's so-and-so's name hey buddy oh yeah <laughs> well if you said it to me like it's fine but like if you say it to someone who's older than you that's psychotic dude. yeah yeah i don't i'm not a like big... a 90 year old hey what's up buddy but where i work I'm like one of the older guys, oh, so yeah. most of my bosses are like mid thirties. Oh, really? Yeah. And they'll be like, "Hey, we think we're gonna work Saturday," and I'm like, "Whoa, well, who's we? We aren't <laughs> <laughs> going to the fucking slopes." Bro. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna smoke weed and sleep late, dude. How uh, like how often are you you smoking weed? Ah, uh, nightly. That's really? fine. Yeah. Does it help you sleep? Nah, it helps me get high. <laughs> what so like what type of thoughts do you have like when you get high though uh like what do i think like, of? Are honest, they, uh so it's funny sometimes i'll have the old like oh everybody's out to get me mm-hmm. i don't know what i'm doing and yeah. then i'll like stop and be like you're super high and then i'll be like oh that's cool all right and then i'll just yeah i'll take my bikes apart and clean them <laughs> Just it's like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the one of everybody's out to get me. Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna go clean my bikes. Yeah. That's literally like. It's never like a, a mixture. 
Uh, it doesn't make me like super happy or anything. It doesn't get me super excited. It's just like, oh, really? cool. Yeah. It doesn't like mellow you, mellow you out at all. I'm what pretty if you went without like it? my resting heart rate is around 52. Yeah, yeah, same here. So like, I don't need to be more mellowed out. Yeah. I'm like barely breathing right now. Yeah, I yeah. could like anytime I get a physical, they're like, "Do you get dizzy when you stand?" I'm like, occasionally. Yeah. I'm like why? I just stand slowly. <laughs> but yeah. every, do you like? Uh, Cause you said you do edibles though. Yeah. Wouldn't that be like? That's more of a like that. Like if I travel, if I'm stuck on a plane or dealing with like, I enjoy. I don't like smoking and dealing with people. Yeah. It's like when I'm home for the night and I'm like, I don't know, I don't have to go back out. I'll like take a couple hits or smoke a joint or something like that. Yeah. But if I'm like, fuck, I gotta, uh, I'm going to be out for a while, but I might do an edible. I can deal with people that I find really? it thoroughly entertaining. Holy shit, man. Yeah. That's wild. It's like. Dude, I, I did, I've done one edible. I've done three the first time. And after that, I was like, I would rather get shot in the <laughs> leg than do that again. It was the most painful experience in my life. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, I guess I know, like, I know people that have said that. Like, I usually, I'm the person that goes, "Hey, man, mm -hmm. like, if somebody gives me something, they're like, definitely eat half of this. It's medical. It'll mess you up." And I yeah. eat the whole thing and just call them a pussy the whole time. Yeah, like it's just fucking nothing. It's easy. Meanwhile, I'm like on my couch drooling. I'm not even like I'm not even coherent. Like my like somebody's sitting next to me and they're like, "Dude, for four hours you just sat there going." <laughs> But I'm like, oh, these guys are no real shit. Yeah. Dude, I like, I've told this before, but I got stuck. They call it like being stuck because like you get so high that you just stay high for like <laughs> three days straight. Okay. So on uh, the yeah. third day, I'm like losing my mind. I think I'm in a dream, dude. Like, See, I did, I did acid back in the day. Yeah. Like, and that was, that was what like people ask me like, how come you stopped doing that? I'm like, cause I liked it. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah like i never had a bad trip really? everything was like magic and yeah like yeah. that so for me wow. we like i did acid and then a bunch of my friends were like hey we're getting mushrooms and they did mushrooms and i did them with them and they were like all messed up and i'm like yeah. do you guys want to go for a ride or something like because like i basically yeah. you know ate the high octane and now i'm eating like lawn clippings <laughs> these guys were all like look at the lights and i'm like yeah okay great let's like let's do something i'm bored wow so Holy weeds shit. like yeah weeds just kind of i would dude i wouldn't even leave the car <laughs> 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 i would be in like stationary cars like fishbowl cars like thinking that we were going like 40 miles an hour <laughs> See, it's not for you then. Like that's smart that you were yeah. like, I think I'm done. That's yeah. That's like the moral of the story. Is like it's not for everyone. Like, yeah. It's, oh, it's definitely. It's a legitimate yeah. skill to be able to go out in public high and just function. Yeah, I can't. Like, I have friends that like they'll be going to family functions and yeah. they'll be like they'll they'll pull up at the entrance to this family function, open the doors, and like woof, smoke will waft out of the car. And meanwhile, I'm like, how? Like, how do you do that? They're like, oh, man, I got like an hour before I have to go back out and re refresh. Wow. I'm like, well, how do you live? Yeah, well, they're probably so used to it. That's the thing. <clears throat> like, But like when I did it, I, I was never the type of guy who was like, man, I'll take a few hits. I was like, I'm going to take four hits to the fucking out yeah. of the bong. Yeah. And like, it's not, <laughs> they, you forget it's a dimmer switch. <laughs> it's like on or off. You're like, I'm either completely straight or blitzed. Yeah. My buddy would always be like, dude, why can't we just like get casual? <laughs> why can't we have fun? Why can't we just have fun, man? <laughs> I'm like fucking bleeding out of my eyes. We would always just get super high and play like fucking like the Rolling Stones or like Dancing Queen by ABBA. <laughs> Shouldn't have fucking shitty Dodge Ram like laughing. <laughs> I would always be like, dude, I am not leaving this fucking truck. Like, I'm not going. Hey, anywhere. do you want a drink? No, I'll just hang my head out the window and hope it rains. I'm not moving, dude. But when I did edibles, the I didn't sleep the whole night. The next day, I had tryouts for a collegiate baseball team, and they were doing <laughs> they were doing live pitching. <laughs> like, you literally had to pitch to these... I had to pitch to these nasty baseball players in a cage, like, live pitching. They were like, give it your all. Like, throw as hard as you can. Do whatever the fuck you want. Dude, I hit the first four guys. 
<laughs> and the fifth guy just goes, I don't want to go up against yeah, this guy. I'm all set. I know <laughs> his game. I hit some dude in the fucking head. Jesus. <laughs> dude. <laughs> and they were just like, keep going. You're fine. Yeah, they were like, ah, just, you know, take a, you know, they were just like, you know, rub some fucking dirt on it. <laughs> this, yeah, dude literally right. got, this dude hit in the head. I thought he was going to die. <laughs> I, I was high. I was like, oh, shit, I fucking <laughs> killed him. <laughs> You're like, how was the how was the tryouts? Well, I drilled yeah. four people, dude. So I told the coach I was drunk. I was like, "Yeah, man, I have like a drinking problem." And I was like <laughs> literally high on edibles, <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, man, you know, like a lot of kids on this team have like the same problem." It's like, don't worry about it. Yeah, just play like, the ball. He was like, "Just try to come to practice sober," and I was like, "I will, man." <laughs> That's the best. Yeah, I like, like didn't even drink at the time either. Uh-huh. I was just high as fuck. So did you make the team? Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. You're like, um, I'm a raging alcoholic, and he's like, fantastic. This dude was like, we know what you're capable of, and I just was like number 17 on the depth chart. <laughs> <laughs> I would just chill in the bullpen, like eating Chipotle. Like, Never pitched an inning. Later in the season, yeah. he's like, we're going to need to put you in. Here's a couple drinks. And you're like, no, I don't drink. <laughs> They're like, well, that's what we need you to step up. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty man. good, though. Was that like, did you go to school on a scholarship or anything? Or no, I went for a semester and left. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, this isn't for me, dude. But that was like, that was my experience with edibles, dude. And I was just like, the next day, I was like, dude, I can't wait to just like be normal. Again. Yeah, and like, I was still high, and I was like, dude, just laying in my bed, like I'm never doing. <laughs> I this made again. a horrible mistake. Yeah. But I see people do it all the time, man. And they're just like casually on edible yeah i mean if you if if i was out people will like they don't realize it yeah they're like wow you're in a great mood today Mm -hmm. and i'm like wow that says i should probably do these more yeah (laughs) if like the only time people register that i'm in a great mood is like high as shit (laughs) (laughs) i'm like huh it is kind of like it is true like when you see people high, you're like, wow, dude, you're like really happy right now. <laughs> man, things They're going. Like, dude, you should do this every right? day. Man, are things going well in your life? No, everybody in my family's dead. <laughs> uh, I have a drinking problem, but I'm high as shit, so I'm having a good night. Let's keep it up. Keep the roll going. Whatever it takes, man. That's it. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. I, I would, I would consider like, <clears throat> I would definitely consider doing it when I'm older. <laughs> Well, like don't, like, don't people say, like, once they hit 70 or 80, that's when they're going to do, like, meth and shit? Because you got nothing better to yeah, do. Yeah, nothing to lose. Yeah. I don't want to do any drugs when I'm, like, 70 or 80. <clears throat> I just want to do, like, stupid shit. Like, ride bikes into cars, like, in, like, <laughs> Walmart parking lots. <laughs> I, but that's when you don't recover that well. Like, that's when you fall and you're like, oh. Yeah, but imagine, like, you just spent, like, $300 on groceries, and, like, you're walking out to your car, and you see a 70-year-old on a mountain bike drive into your car and flip. See, but I'd rather, like, I watched, I've, I've tried to make it into a joke, but it doesn't work. It's a, I, I watched two old dudes get in the slowest car accident I've ever seen. <laughs> they were both backing out of spots at the supermarket. <laughs> And fucking literally, like, their spots were offset, so it was perfect, and they literally dragged the side of their car down the other car until they saw each other in the window, and fucking, then they didn't stop, they put it in drive and pulled back in their spots and got out and looked at the cars. It was crazy. I literally had, like, groceries in the car, I'm like, I better get these home, I'm like, oh, shit, I better watch this. (laughs) crash then they get out and talk about it nobody exchanged papers they just individually left and i can only imagine they were going to go home and be like i don't know what happened it wasn't me don't take my license because they were dude they were dinosaurs they were fucking absolute dinosaurs how does that joke not work dude i think it makes like it's i don't think people believe it it's so i oh I sat there and watched the whole thing and was like, this is this is magic. This is why the world exists. <laughs> right? Like you ever have a moment in your life when you're like, This is I'm alive to see this. Yeah. That's it. Like people are mad, they're like going around them because they're now blocking a whole lane. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody like is like upset. They're mad at yeah. the people for doing it, but nobody's like, Oh, these poor guys. They just walked in and got their grocery shop undone. And I'm just like, this is yeah. fantastic. So that, like, if when I'm old, I just want to drive around and hit people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, dude. When I drive by uh, cyclists, 
I definitely think about that. I'm I'm a cyclist, and no, I no, would not, like, I would wing some people. Yeah. I'd door them. Yeah, like listen. I wouldn't even door them, dude. I'd full on as fast as I can, <laughs> <laughs> and then score them, score them on the flip over the hood. Like would have given you ten, but I didn't like this. The, you didn't stick the landing. Yeah, we live near a. Oh, my hometown is like there's a reservoir, and there's always bikers there. So if you hit them hard enough, they can just <laughs> fly into the reservoir, dude. <laughs> Ooh, get that guy's bike. Yeah. I'll just have you sit on like the the ledge where like the railings are and just hold up like your score. Like tens. <laughs> you just see me coming. Like, dude, is that guy gonna slow down? They see some cyclist go by looking at me like, what are you doing? Just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> just hold on, wait yeah. for it. You're in like court, it's like on video. <laughs> they're like they're like, was this premeditated? Never. No. 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 I just I carry those signs I always, with me I everywhere. Go 80. <laughs> Listen, if you're on a bike and you're one of those people that's like, well, oh, bicycles share the lane. Yeah. I get it. That's fine. But if you then roll up to a red light, look both ways and go, I think if you're run down by a car, we should just sweep you to the gutter and move on with our life. I feel the same way. It's <laughs> fuck them. Just imagine you in like a, <clears throat> like a town council meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would stand in court and be like, did he have a red light? He did, but he was on a dude, bicycle. I Fuck saw, him. I saw a dude get hit. <laughs> I got hit when I was a kid. Like, no, I, I didn't see the dude get hit. I saw him under the car yelling. And it was the funniest Yelling. Shit. Get I this so, shit off me. He was like, my fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, bad people. It was the funniest shit. Like, because he was still alive. You, he probably broke his leg, maybe two. But still hilarious, dude. Listen. Anytime you get on a bike, you're probably going to die. Yeah. Just accept it and then move on. Like for you to be like, yeah, I got hit today and expect me not to laugh. That's disrespectful. Well, that's that's partially why I got into comedy. Like everything painful in my life that yeah. would hurt my soul, mm -hmm. I would tell people the story of it and they would be like, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the worst when like you're laughing. And it's like a super serious story. Oh, my God. Yeah. This guy at my work got hit in the fucking head with a beer bottle. And he was telling us the story. <clears throat> he just like, we had never spoken before. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> You're in the back giggling. Yeah. I'm in like my big and tall eyes out, Polo, like looking at him straight faced. And he's like, yeah, man. Uh, I went out and some chick threw a bottle at my head. She thought I was someone else. <laughs> so I started like laughing my ass off. And he's like, no, dude, like, <clears throat> it's not funny, like. No, I have to go to court today. I'm like, no, but no, that's no. When you, this, yeah. this is funny. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> let me correct you, like, sir. That's fucking hilarious. She thought you were someone else. So. That's that's her whole answer to that. <laughs> she thought. So you just, <laughs> you think they vaguely look like somebody and just fire a beer at them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. He's like, no, nah, dude, I'm getting like 20 stitches. I'm like, dude, that's even funnier. He walks into court and she fires another beer at him because <laughs> she thought again. Yeah. That he was somebody else. <clears throat> but that's the worst, dude. It's not really the worst, but it's just unfortunate that people, you know, can't laugh at stuff like that. Like, if someone threw a fucking beer bottle on my head, <laughs> I would fucking laugh about it. Like, I wouldn't laugh in the moment. I'd be well, like, holy shit, this fucking hurts. But it's like, like I said about my buddies growing up. Like, you run over, hey, man, are you okay? Yeah. And as soon as they're like, yeah, I think so, you laugh. Yeah. That's it. Sure. And if they're not okay... As soon as the ambulance drives away, you laugh. <laughs> you go, holy fuck, dude. That was crazy. Yeah. How crazy was that? <clears throat> I don't do it for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because I grew up around like, I mean, when when I like did BMX, I was like 250 pounds. So I couldn't really do any of like the tricks the other kids are doing, like endos and shit. Yeah. But like if, if anyone ever did like, I mean, I think I've tried to do a few endos, like where you go up on your front brakes yeah. and just like slam my balls. <laughs> like that was funny. Like, I don't think that's the end bit. <laughs> <clears throat> shit like that. Like, I don't know. I think that carries. So you would, you, you couldn't do the actual trick, so you'd just make it, make a joke out of it? Dude, they used to have the fucking, I don't know if they have them anymore, but they would have like these jumps and they were like black, like legit ramps. Maybe okay. Like, like the plastic. The separators. Okay. And they were probably like two feet in height, and you would separate them, so you would hit the gaps. And I remember, like, I would hit them probably, like, a foot away from <laughs> each other, and I'd be like, fuck yeah. 
because <clears throat> I was like morbidly obese, dude. So like one day we had a fucking competition, and this kid's dad came outside and laid between the gaps. He's probably like six feet tall. But listen, if <clears throat> if you're willing to lay down, <laughs> I am definitely hitting that fucking jump. Dude, I had to borrow another kid's bike. <laughs> Dude, so you would like you would go around, you would literally like it was a, a descent. So you would pedal as fast as you could and just hit it as hard as you could. Just no regrets. Everyone's like, dude, don't slow down. Commit. <clears throat> I'm like breaking a sweat, dude. I hit the jump, barely like clip the edge, go up on the front wheel, and I'm just riding the front wheel <laughs> into the him. main road as a car's <laughs> coming. They just slam on the brakes, hit the horn, and I just fall in someone's yard. But like that was that was like my biggest accomplishment. Like other kids were doing like crazy shit. Like that was you jumped a dude. Yeah, I would have I would have crashed on the dude. I would have <laughs> been like, "You're a fucking idiot for laying there with children." Yeah. Okay. I mean, dude, there was a few fatties there that were cheering me on, so it really meant a lot to me. <laughs> um, the my uh, I was at a party one time, and I was always the one that would be like, get all banged up, and then I found a bike, and I'm like, ah. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna pedal as fast as I can, and it was like a ten speed. So was it's that got, a party? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's like a house party. I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna look so cool. I'm gonna pedal down the street and I'm gonna come back <laughs> as fast as I can, and I'm gonna skid across the front yard. Yeah, but I didn't know that the front yard dropped two feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I come like top gear, pedaling as hard as I can, and the front wheel just dropped out from under me, and I had some people on the front steps watching and they said oh you totally supermaned it you didn't even put your arms out you just landed with your face and like my body folded up on itself and i just got up they said i got up and was like huh and just left the bike there and walked in the house and got another drink it was like yeah that's that's story of my life i'm gonna look so cool yeah nope. that's dude that's kind of scary about <clears throat> bikes and stuff like dirt bikes when people get cocked at parties and they're like dude we should take out the fucking four stroke and it's like dude, yeah. you're 14 feet. <laughs> <laughs> well the funny like hey let's take out the dirt bike somebody grab the keys well there isn't one so let's let them do it <laughs> they would do that with like pit bikes at parties yeah and like <clears throat> i remember there was a specific moment where i was like 14 deep and i'm like I want to get on that thing. <laughs> and if someone let me on that thing, I would have legitimately, like, without a doubt, Oh, at speed. Yeah. yeah. Like, full I don't on. even know how to shift. <laughs> I'd be like, why is it's the this best this time to learn? 14 deep. in the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a, me and a couple of my buddies lived in a house, and it was in the middle of an industrial zone. So come five o'clock, the place was empty. We used to ride snowmobiles up and down the street. Yeah. We had a, a buddy that was on the town's auxiliary police. Yeah. And he would literally do donuts in the cruiser in the front yard. <laughs> but we had a giant party and somebody showed up with a pit bike, little like little 80. Yeah. And he's like, "Hey, I'm t I, I'm going to leave this here." And it sat in our front yard. We would come home from work. I'd come home from work. I'd look. My buddy would be riding the thing across the front yard. And he'd, I'd be like, hey, man, let me take a blast. And he'd just drop it on the ground, and I'd pick it up. It Winter came. It snowed. The bike was just laying in the front yard covered in snow. And then come spring, we were like, ah, ha, ha. Hey, it's got two flats. See if it starts. And we rode the thing around. I think like a year later, the yeah. kid came back, and he was like, hey, is my bike still here? And we were like, it's over like in the bushes under like leaves and shit. Yeah. And they were like, you ruined my bike. And we were like, no, that's how it was. You just, that's how it's, it's been there since you left it. Like how fucked up was it? Ah, uh, two flats, bent rims. Like Jeez. we just, like when the wheels went flat, we didn't stop riding it. Yeah. It just made the experience more exciting. And then, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't, I think all we did was put gas in it, like it's supposed to be a mix, and we're just dumping. Like, fuck it, let's go. Not my bike. Yeah, you leave some. You leave a dirt bike at somebody's house for a year, and you got to kind of expect it's. <laughs> yeah, you got to expect that, dude. Yeah, <clears throat> we're dicks. <clears throat> I never, I never rode, uh, never rode dirt bikes. Uh, I had this moped though. <laughs> uh, it was like a, it was like a Japanese like Kimco 
uh, like 50 cc moped. <clears throat> it was like pretty nice. And uh, in high school, I was like super stoned, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna take this thing for a ride." So I'm going down like <clears throat> the most main road in uh, like where I'm from. Like the speed limit's 40. I'm like maxed out at 33. <laughs> And there's, like, a turn, like, that's almost backwards. And it was, like, a part of the year where, like, they haven't swept the, the sand yet. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm going full speed. I hit this turn going, like, 33 miles an hour. Hit a pile of sand. Just slide into this guardrail. <clears throat> and I'm, like, I'm high as shit. So I'm, like, this isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's the weirdest dream I've ever had. Yeah. I slid into the guardrail. I'm, like, literally, I have, like, road rash. And I just, like, get up. I'm, like, bleeding. I pick up my moped and just start riding again. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, dude, just get out of here. Like, Nobody's seen nobody that. Saw. Everybody's cool. This is cool. <clears throat> so, like, I'm going down the road and I turn around. There's, like, six cars following. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> bleeding. Everywhere. They're all like, is this kid okay? <laughs> we should follow him make sure he's safe. And I'm like, I like didn't stop. Like they were like honking at me. So I was like, all right, I'll stop. They're like, you, they were like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I didn't feel any of that. Yeah, clearly I'm riding, man. <laughs> they were so confused, dude. <laughs> they were just like, what the fuck? I remember showing up to the basketball courts, just like blood everywhere. I'm like, can I play? <laughs> <laughs> but I sold that thing, man. Mopeds are the shit though, dude. Yeah. I wish I didn't sell it. Like for the summer rides. Oh, around here? You'd take it down here? Not around here, but back home. <laughs> around here, dude, <laughs> crossing that intersection. I would get hit on the spot. Right. <laughs> People, uh, Listen, if I see you trying to merge in that intersection, I'm like, well, looks like we got some something to aim at here, don't we? <laughs> yeah, driving around here is just like not even fun, dude. Well, like, hey... You didn't use your directional. Yeah, I'm not warning fucking people yeah, where people I'm going to end up. People are savages around here, dude. That's so fantastic. Yeah. I like I like watching like the most timid looking people lose their fucking minds in traffic. <laughs> like you know, it's like, "Oh, look, that's yeah. somebody's like little old nana and she's so happy and she's like going to crawl out a window and stab somebody yeah. in the throat cuz yeah. they like are doing 26 in a 30." <clears throat> I don't. I didn't think I would ever have it. I mean, I still don't. But sometimes I'm like, all right, rage. Yeah. The rage. Yeah, that could. I don't know, man. If I did, if I did rage, it would be like I'm going to jail. <laughs> like I would buy like twelve frag grenades and just start throwing them. <laughs> I mean, I think that implies that those frag grenades <laughs> that you've now brought up twice are super easy to come by. <laughs> I know a guy, dude. I know a guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need twelve of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one usually does the trick. No, 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 no. Yeah, twelve. Well, dude, I mean, if you're in road rage, it's like, why are you gonna be a pussy about it? Like, don't yell at me. Like, just kill me. See, but you can't. <laughs> like, I, I'm a big fan of like I. It, the reason I don't rage is it takes like my my dreams are they take too long. Do you ever hear the story of the guy that like put like plating on a giant bulldozer and then just destroyed a town because they kept fucking with him? No. Oh, it's some Netflix thing. But he uh he took like one of the big giant yeah. bulldozers and just the whole cab was sealed in like lead or steel, whatever it was, like so they were shooting at him and it was like ting ting and he's just like running over police cars and yeah, it's like, like fucking death race. Yeah. Like that's the that's my kind of rage. Like oh, this guy pissed me off. Now I got to go home and get my death bulldozer. Yeah, and find him again. Oh, dude, if I really got that mad, like <laughs> it would only be right to like do that. Like spend ten years of my life creating my own death race vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> All because some guy that you've never yeah. met like cut yeah. you off. I would just fucking blast for those about to rock by ACDC. <laughs> Just start launching frags. No, out. See, I do like with uh, Sarah McLaughlin, some sad, oh, sad yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. like people are like, oh, what is this? A, like a puppy parade? And then just maul yeah. everybody on the street. Yeah. Either that or like put on like a, a Pornhub video. <laughs> <laughs> just like a hardcore gangbang, <laughs> just full volume. <laughs> They're like, well, we should have seen it coming. Yeah. Uh, he had been working on that uh, <laughs> that loop for quite some time. You just hear like, oh, my God, that's so much cum. <laughs> like three cars blow up. <laughs> Are you the pizza man? <laughs> 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 
Uh, that's a good name for a porno. <clears throat> Are you the pizza man? <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was, oh my God, there's so much cum. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen a uh, cake farts? <laughs> a what? <laughs> we had this kid on the podcast and he was like, have you ever seen cake farts? And I was like, no, what's that? He told me what it was. It's like this video and this chick like farts on a cake. It's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> and like, I think two weeks ago, I, f- I think I, the I found internet the is so underrated. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't find the video for a while, but two weeks ago, I saw it, dude, and it was so worth it. It's like one of the funniest things. How long were you searching for cake for? <laughs> Just fu- two like years. how many YouTube rabbit holes <clears throat> two years did you it? end up down? Like, well, this isn't cake for but I'm going to watch yeah, this channel. I had for to a pay while. for a VPN service and like get like specific access. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, how deep state is this cake fart video? This is only black market shit. It's like Hillary doing it. <laughs> Dude, it's just like it's just like a perfectly made cake. And she's like, Ooh, what do we have here? And she just walks up to it, sits on it, and farts. Like I 10 feel like times. she has multiple videos like that and men pay. Dude, it's like a common theme though. I like, was gonna say it's I like bet a, it's like, own genre. Yeah. Like somebody's like, ordering that cake. What do you want for your birthday cake? Uh, I want Trisha to fart on my birthday cake and ship it to me. Yeah, like it's like ebony hardcore cake farts. I don't need to know the search <laughs> terms. <laughs> no, I'm saying like if you were to go on like a porn site, yeah. it would be like its own genre. That's There's crazy. There's more than one person. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like that, that to me movement. makes sense. Yeah, like, she started a movement. <laughs> Someday she's going to be like, hey, I'm the I'm the leader of this movement. Do you want to come live on my cake part <coughs> she's farm? In like, she's in like a history book. Right. <clears throat> right next to like Asa Akira. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the leader of the cake fart movement, which gained political power in the late 2030s. <clears throat> I mean, dude, I would, I would do my project on that. I would. That would be, you know. Dad, can you help me with my, my project? <laughs> Just put the video in his PowerPoint presentation. Right. He's in like fourth grade. <laughs> we couldn't find the video, so we had to have my mother do it. Ma, I need this project done for tomorrow. She just shits herself. Right. <laughs> oh, good thing we used the bunt pan. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> that was on, a good way to end on, it. on that note. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>